Hey, how's it going? My name's Brad, and in today's video, we're going to be showing off some new cards again from the Eternal Light card game. This is a series where I show off new designs that have been created for the card game and will later come into the official version of the game. This is episode 3, and you can watch this series in any order, so if you want to check out any others, you can go and check them out. And also, today's theme is based around the Motion Comic series, which has started on the channel. If you want to check out episode 1, you can check that out. Uh, it's on the channel, or you can check the description. But anyways, let's get straight into it. Some new cards today, and we're going to start off with Malpon Crab. So this is a Earth type level 5 common and this comes from the Malpon Islands which is one of the locations from the law and the description for this reads this species of crab can be found on the Malpon Islands and Planet Light. They are quite friendly and don't snap so this is pretty sort of like basic kind of filler card you know and the purpose of this one would be to sort of if you're building an earth deck and you need some basic uh, warriors in there Malpon Crab's sort of one of those cards that you can use obviously with 10 damage and 5 defense points pretty basic common and that's Malpon Crab next we've got one of the main characters from the story side of things this is Jenny Cassidy and this is a soldier type level 10 rare and uh, this is pretty long ability but we'll try and rig this here if this warrior is selected for an attack you can send the top card of your deck to the afterlife to negate the attack and you can only use this ability once so this is a pretty alright ability I'd say this is obviously if you Jenny Cassidy gets attacked by your opponent you can uh, negate the attack once and uh, it's pretty good for a, a start up card say if you want to get some stronger warriors out but obviously uh, you've only got Jenny Cassidy in your hand and 60 damage points 100 defense points pretty basic pretty cool for a level 10 it's a really good rare to use and that's uh, Jenny Cassidy Next we've got Quick Repairs, this is a ability card featuring artwork of Maxwell from the story side of things. He's obviously in his workshop there with his repair tool and some of like his like chains and boxes and stuff. And the ability card is a rare and the ability itself is select one warrior from your afterlife and summon it. Now pay 20 life points for every 5 levels the chosen warrior has. So if you have a strong warrior that you had out and it was destroyed, say it was level 20, if you want to bring that out, it will cost you 80 life points. So it's obviously 20 life points for every 5 levels the warrior has. It's a really good rare and I might have to limit this in the future, but we'll see how it plays out for now. But anyway, that's quick repairs. I hope you like the artwork. And yeah. Next we've got the new version of Drew, which is obviously the one that we'll get to see more in the motion comic side of things in the future so this is kind of like a future card but this is drew spelt with a three instead of an e and uh, this is the stripped down version where his shell as you can see in the background there it has been removed he's got his wires all exposed his actual like brain stem and everything's there and you can see what actually keeps the future alive and this is pretty cool and the thing that's unique about this card is it has an ability it's level five common and the damage and defense points are exactly the same as the original drew but this card likes to sort of as you can see from the ability this is this warrior is treated as diffused drew if this warrior is destroyed by battle add one refused from your deck to your hand so if this warrior if you bring this warrior out and it's destroyed you can get a refuse instantly but as its own normal phase it's kind of um makes itself into a normal diffuse drew so you can use it for uh, mutation summoning later on so it's a pretty cool card to have and it kind of makes it so you have more diffuse drews overall now we've got another ability card this is a pretty standard one but this is more of a sort of a just a normal ability card this is crushing power this is ability card uh, common the ability for this is send your active location card to the afterlife then destroy one warrior your opponent controls so this is kind of a last resort type ability card where if you have a location card out but you don't have any way of destroying your opponent's warriors you can get rid of it and obviously destroy one instantly that way and the last card for today is another one in the total bot series this is the tb19 decoy this is a futuristic design from the total bot total bots industries and uh, this is an electric level 20 rare the description for this is built by total bots industries the tb19 is a deadly assassination bot that can take on the appearance of any living thing and obviously it's taken on the appearance of light which is the main character from the story he's got a pretty jacked up arm there with the minigun as well and you've got the the ufo in the background and all these like cool shells that fall into the ground uh 210 damage points 200 defense points pretty cool level 20 and that's team in 19 decoy so thank you for checking out today's video this is another showcase in the eternal light series for future cards that you may see come back at some point in the future obviously you might see some of them soon as well 
And if you want to check out the Motion Comics series or the fact that the card game itself is coming back soon, you can check all that out on the channel. Thanks for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,